Hey guys, it's Russell Tussle, and welcome back for part two of our third playthrough of RimWorld Alpha 15. Uh, so we're just starting day four. Uh, we're in a rainforest biome. And we have three pretty good car uh, starting colonists. Two of them are one's neurotic, one's nervous, so their breaking point is a bit high. Uh, so that's what it normally looks like, but these two it's like halfway, which is crazy. They're like always in a bad mood. So that should be interesting. Uh, I think our next goal is to build individual bedrooms for everyone so that they're not in a bad mood all the time. <laughs> which I guess I would be too if I had to share a bedroom. So we'll do six. Let's do six by nine bedrooms. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. That was seven. Learning allowed areas. Yep, know all about that. Oh, you know what? I don't want this to be a door. I want this to be open. Actually, that's the mistake I made last time. We'll keep it sealed off for now so that people don't die of heat stroke. <laughs> keep it nice and cool. And we'll just leave that part of the wall open so people can get inside. <gasps> Lumi successfully tamed an alpaca. All right. Let's go to animals. Uh, we don't need to tame them or train them, make them obedient. So how do I do this? Expand animal area one. So what I do for most of like the farm animals is I don't let them inside because it's, I don't know, it looks weird. I keep them near the crops, basically. Uh, I had a mod that lets you do fences, so that was pretty cool to put them inside a fence. I hope that the vanilla game gets those eventually. Um, anyway, I think it's just easier to keep an eye on them if they're confined to be close to base. Otherwise, I think they can kind of go off and get murdered. I must say, I think these two are the fastest builders we've had so far. Chop some wood. Let's kind of just clear out the area around the house. Oh look, they're all playing horseshoes again. Them talking to each other. I really appreciate that. <gasps> Wanderer joins. Oh, Linda. So looks like we're slowly going towards an all-female colonist colony. She can't socialize. She's a night owl. Alright, so she has to be asleep between 11 in the morning to 6 o'clock at night. So we'll have to change her sleep schedule. She likes to shoot things. And she's lazy. Seriously, go away, Windows notifications. Oh my god. <sighs> Yay, Windows 10 update. It's, it's the best. What was I doing? I don't remember. It's gone. Uh, Linda. Oh, the bodyguard. I think she's naked except for armor. 
yep, she's a vest and that's it. So she's sad that she's naked and that she's awake during the day. So she needs to sleep. 11 in the morning. What was it, 11 to 18? And then she'll have her joy. That's three, four, five. More joy. Joy before bed. And she can't really socialize. Or she can't socialize at all, so. I guess that works out with being a night owl. You know what? That also means we need another bed. Wow, look at all the berries we have. Oh, and some tortoise meat. We're good on food, that's a first. Oh, we don't have the materials for the bed, we need wood. Linda's sleeping on the floor. Oh, she's a night owl, so maybe by the time she wakes up she can use someone else's bed? I don't think it'll let you, though. Oh, boom rats. I'm just kidding, boom elopes. What is boom rat from? Is that from this, from another game? I swear I've heard that name before. Linda, what can you do? Oh gosh, we're gonna let everyone cut plants. Cause it's really dumb not to. Uh, in my opinion. Uh, we'll let other people cook that are good at it. We'll let her improve her social skill. Oh, Linda's the best doctor so far. That's pretty good. So is she getting, oh, she's getting, whoa, that's a huge mood boost for being a night owl. Whoa, it's really cold inside. Is anyone cold? Very cold. Ooh, okay. So we do need a heater. So let's turn that off. There's an eclipse? Okay. As long as no one's dying. And we'll build a heater. So I lied. It does... It doesn't get below freezing, but it's still cold enough where we need a heater in the winter. Okay, good. They are building the bed. Oh, it's an eclipse. Okay, so it's daytime. That's why it's dark. I was really confused, even though I just said that. I just read that thing. Oh, come on. Someone built the bed. Oh, no. 
They will prepare for a while, then attack. The convict party. <laughs> okay, Edgin. So it should warn me again when they're attacking. Oh, poor Linda. Sleeping on the ground naked outside. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Alright, Linda, you're not going to be a hunter. Oh, you know what? Let's, um... Can you drop this? How do I drop something? There we go. Alright, Linda, equip the pistol. Alright, the convict party's attacking. Who's the other shooter? Oh, Lumi. Alright, where is he? Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, yay. We have a heater now, so people won't be cold. Cargo pods. Oh, Labrador Retriever meat. I mean, meat is meat. Oh my god, there's so much meat. That's actually really good. That's a lot of food. Even though it's <laughs> it's from a dog. Alright, let's, um... So what I usually do is, because the bodies pile up real quick, as I kind of make, like, a corpse-only area. And it's only for human and mechanoid corpses. Lab rot. So they can rot out of sight of everyone else. Because otherwise they'll, they'll go outside every day, see a body, and be like, oh, that's gross. Alright, so we need a fourth bedroom. growth 11%. Oh, you know what? I need to disallow corpses in this one so that they'll move the body away from the base. Okay, reinstall the bed. This can be like a dining area. Hope's Desert. Alright. Friendly, friendly visitors. Oh no, minor break risk. Lumi. A without table, in darkness, shared bedroom. <clears throat> And then disturb sleep, which is part of that. How are we doing on wood? Oof, kinda need some more. What was that? Was that the alpaca? 
That was a weird noise, right? Right, guys? Oof. All right, is someone sleeping on the floor? No. All right, Lumi's the most social. So let's go see what Hope's Desert has to trade. Luciferum. Okay, so that's a drug. After the first dose, there's no way to get the Mechanites out ever. The devil's bargain. Oh my god, drugs are so effing scary. That is the scariest description ever. That's really, oh my god. Okay, no. We're not buying drugs. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe someone will join the colony at some point that has a drug problem. <laughs> and then to keep them from having withdrawal, we'll just have to keep supplying them. Enable. We have to enable them. already down here. Oh, but I want it near the bedroom. Just kidding. Alright. I'll give lights to everyone. Also need vents. So that these rooms can be heated or cooled accordingly. Man, the temperature really fluctuates here. Oh no, we're low on food? Is that what it says? I think we have a considerable amount. We have more than we usually do. <laughs> nice. All right, so no one's sleeping in the dark anymore. Can Linda construct? No, no, like not at all. Oops. That's a little too big for a table. for when we have two more colonists. And we'll start beautifying everyone's room. I kind of wish you could put in windows that would like utilize natural light during the day and then the actual lights would go off to conserve electricity. Cause I feel like that makes sense, you know? 
All right, some of the strawberries are kind of ready to harvest. Not much else. Oh, good. Okay, so her body's rotting over the, safely over there. All right, we should probably start working on some production vents, benches and stuff. All right, we're just gonna shove the, the research bench in Lumi's room, cause I don't know why. Who's the best researcher? I just think it goes well in that spot. And then we'll do an electric tailoring bench. Is that where I want that? And a sculptor's table. And then a tool cabinet to make those both go faster. And then some potted plants. And then some chairs. people can be comfortable while they're working. Alright, this is coming together. Knock on wood. Hopefully we can pull this off, guys. This, I'm really proud of this base so far. down here too. I don't think it matters as far as like their needs go. Uh, but I think aesthetically it looks better. If it's a little more lit up. Oh yay, they're harvesting all the strawberries. Alright, let's not replant strawberries in this field. How do I... We're gonna replace the strawberries with cotton. Some of the plants aren't really ready to harvest, I don't think. Oh, you know what? Maybe their grow skill determines how their chance of harvesting. Manual work priorities. Yes, we know about that. Lumi, are you okay? Okay, she's meditating. <laughs> it looked like she was standing in the corner staring at the wall like she had lost it. <gasps> Look at the little chinchilla! Oh, it's so cute! I don't think you can harvest its fur without killing it. There's no, like, wool growth factor. Still pretty pleased. No one's freaking out that we're eating a dog, are they? Nope, everyone's just pissed that it's ugly. She's pissed that she's cold, because she's naked. We're working on it. We're working on it, girl. We'll get you some clothes real soon. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cancel that, being in there. Because if someone wants to research at night, They'll wake up Lumi, and I just think that's a bad idea. So I might build this out. I think I might do is kind of make, make like a great room right here and then have the hallway go up. So 
So let's make it make it a seven by or nine by nine room. Cause these are nine, right? Yep. And so then we'll make another six by nine bedroom up here. Seal it in that way. Oh, look, they're talking. That was cool. Just hanging out. I should really start researching stuff. Like turrets and stuff. Gun turrets are great. I think cotton grows fairly slow. So I don't think, I think Linda's gonna be a nudist for a little while longer. Whether she wants to or not. Why would you go over there and, and talk by the dead body? Ew, it's rotting. Solar flare? Okay, there goes all our power. Well, the plus side, guys, at least the crops grow year round because we're in the rainforest. We are out of wood. That's why there's no building going on. So let's continue to clear kind of around. The base. Solar flare is over. Oh, they're talking again. I like that. Oh, look, they're really good friends. Lumi and Aletta. They crash together, which gives them a bonus. Oh, and they keep having deep talks. Oh, that's cool. So they like each other. More so because they were, they landed here together. Oh, she doesn't like Linda because Linda's lazy and she's a hard worker. They actually hate each other. That's really funny. I really appreciate that. Well, guys, I think that's where we're going to end part two. Uh, once again, my name is Russell Tussle, and that was part two of our third playthrough of RimWorld Alpha 15. So please like and subscribe below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thanks for watching!